This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at what is predictive maintenance. This term has gained traction over the last couple of years. Uh, this is because of advancements in big data, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Okay. So if you look at any equipment, be it an automobile, an aeroplane, an MRI machine, a cooling unit or the data center, right? All these equipment require periodic maintenance for these equipment to work in an optimal fashion. For example, if you take your automobile or a car, you have periodic service intervals, right? And these service intervals are determined based on say the mileage of the cars or the duration, right? Based on that certain preventative measures are or maintenance are done on the cars. For example, it could be lubricating the suspension. It could be topping up the battery levels, right? It could be replacing the engine oil. Okay. Uh, this is an electric car over here. So probably the maintenance is different from your normal uh, internal combustion engine cars. Okay. Similarly, if you take an aeroplane, uh, you know, it undergoes periodic maintenance. If you take an MRI machine in a hospital, even that requires periodic maintenance. So every machine, be it in a factory or which is used in a consumer location would require some kind of periodic maintenance because they have wear and tear components or they have electronic components which degrade over a period of time. Okay. So that is preventive maintenance. Okay. So what is, what are the different states of maintenance? Okay. And what is the future of maintenance? Okay. So if you look at this nice figure from this particular site, so what typically happens is reactive maintenance, right? So this is the corrective maintenance that happens after a breakdown. For example, a truck has a breakdown on the highway. Probably then a repair is done to identify uh, what is the issue and certain components are replaced or repaired. Okay. You have an electric pump, which pumps water, right? So some point of time, it doesn't work. So then you look into what is the issue? Is it the coil which needs replacement, right? Similarly with the air conditioning unit. Okay. So this is the current state of what you call as reactive maintenance. So basically when a breakdown happens, you do some kind of maintenance. You also have preventative maintenance, right? So that breakdowns don't happen. Okay. So these are regularly periodically performed maintenance to reduce failures. For example, you service your car every year or once in six months, you replace the engine oil because if the engine oil becomes, you know, uh, overused or something, uh, then it affects engine performance, right? Similarly, your air conditioning units needs to be cleaned. Uh, dust needs to be removed from the air conditioning unit. Okay. Your refrigerators, basically the compressor uh, gas needs to be changed and things like that. These are done on regular intervals based on prior studies, historical studies to identify what is the period in which service needs to be done so that failures don't happen. Right. But the paradigm change predictive maintenance brings over here is that what if, if you have enough sensors embedded into your systems, into your components. Okay. For example, in your car, in your aeroplane, in each one of these equipment, which keeps sending data. Okay. About the current state of the equipment. Can you actually now look at this data and predict that, okay, a failure can happen 10 days down the line, a month down the line, six months down the line, right? Or immediate, immediately, right? So you can then classify the errors as like, okay, you know, in how much duration it's going to happen, right? When is the breakdown going to happen? Or when can a certain component fail, right? And based on that, you can actually start taking actions beforehand so that you can prevent these failures. So that is the idea of predictive maintenance. Okay. So it's about using sensors and software to predict future failures based on the data collected from these devices or components. Even it could be software, right? Even a software, we can do predictive failure. Okay. Predictive maintenance of software also can be done. It just need not be hardware. Okay. And the future envisioned state is probably prescriptive maintenance, which is about using machine learning to find predictive failures and then identify solutions. How can you actually prevent? Okay. Machine learning also can be used in predictive maintenance and it is widely used over here as well to identify future failure states. Okay. So this is about predictive maintenance. 
okay so i found this nice article which talks about you know why predictive maintenance is required what it says over here is there was a group study which uh, which this worldwide only 18% of equipment has failed due to its age while 82% of failures occur randomly okay so for age based failure you can have periodic service intervals right or maintenance but what about random failures okay so it proves that time based approach is not cost effective a piece of equipments gets maintained irrespective of the actual need so this is where predictive maintenance uh, plays a very important role and why predictive maintenance is picked up is because you have this iot internet of things sensors basically and you have data science to look at the huge amount of data which is generated from these sensors okay so this is the idea over here and what kind of architecture is required for you know predictive maintenance so here is an example architecture which says about industrial equipment where you have some data collection from sensors which is sent into a cloud basically a data lake right it could be streaming data and you have a data warehouse right on this data you can actually do uh, your machine learning and based on that you can actually you know uh, predict failures of control applications of industrial equipment and based on that you can do predictive maintenance okay this is just an example architecture there could be different architectures depending upon the equipment okay but the key idea is this you have sensors which are present on the equipment which kind of monitor the equipment which collect data this data is sent to some cloud or a data lake right where analytics or machine learning algorithms are used to identify future failures basically how it learns is that it looks at past failures identifies features based on the new data which keeps coming over here it tries to identify failure points right so that is why uh, that is how you do predictive maintenance and in this article they have given uh, different examples of uh, you know uh, various industries okay uh, for example volvo group has deployed an iot based predictive maintenance solution that predicts spindle damages as well as identifies cracking and spalling of rotating equipment gearing and motor effects as a result they have improved uh, reducing diagnostic times by up to 70% and repair times by more than 20% okay similarly uh, for say uh, you know uh, process manufacturing pulp processing and paper manufacturing companies they also leverage inter um, what do you call internet of things sensors to monitor the state of paper making machines okay so this is an example of paper making machines where uh, mastrich mill equipped their press rolls with temperature and vibration sensors and rolled out a cloud based predictive maintenance solution to predict damages of bearings and gears okay so that was an example of paper industry it's uh, this is a steel industry right multiple furnaces that use water uh, cooling panels to control temperatures if there are leakages in the panels it may cause safety issues and production so they are using iot predictive maintenance solution to predict or detect anomalies and carry out root cause analysis similarly in the oil industry okay so chevron has actually uh, you know a turn to iot development to roll out a predictive maintenance solution to identify corrosion and pipeline damages the solution uses sensors installed across pipelines to measure ph gaseous and uh, aqueous uh, uh, co2 h2s content based on that they are trying to predict whether corrosion can happen in these pipelines okay solution fetches real time sensor data passes it for cloud for evaluation analysis and prediction okay so this is an example of your oil industry where you are doing predictive maintenance it can be done in the electric power industry in, in railways over here to identify something like when can brake failure happen so brake shoes wear probability of 55% check brake so this is based on real time data coming from sensors in your trains right freight trains okay so predictive maintenance is widely present across uh, and there is a need for predictive maintenance across different industries different domains right and how is this being enabled it is enabled by data which is collected from sensors on real time basis this data is pushed to the cloud there are some algorithms running on the cloud which identifies these failure uh, you know future failure points and then based on that maintenance is done okay so now if you look at how are these various cloud platforms supporting 
you know this internet of things and predictive maintenance each of these uh, cloud platforms for example aws uh, google cloud and azure have come up with their own architectures okay where they explain how you can actually do predictive maintenance so i will put a link to these articles in the description of the video you can check that out okay so if you look at uh, you know for utility companies how you uh, predictive maintenance solutions are useful so for example over here in this article they talk about you know uh, internet of uh, things for uh, condition monitoring sensors uh, for example vibration and temperature sensors are designed to predict equipment failures okay so this is one particular uh, startup uh, for uh, basically network utility network operators right so this is for power generation unplanned time in uh, downtimes in power generation facilities and optimization of oil and gas production processes okay there is another startup which looks at uh, you know uh, water and wastewater plant operators okay so what they look at is that uh, they look at data which is captured from programmable logic controller at uh, you know these water waste water and wastewater plant operators to predict actually failures okay then you also have for oil and gas as explained earlier um, so this particular uh, startup has something called limpset retrofit device uh, so what it does is that it provides real time diagnostics including leak detection security and flow measurement using a range of sensors the solution allows oil and gas pipeline workers and operators to reduce downtime costs labor and requirements okay this is again for wastewater uh, equipment okay so there are a lot of these uh, startups which work in this area of uh, you know predictive maintenance and it's like if you look at all these use cases uh, this is another in the automobile industry where they talk about you know determining life of lead acid battery in a car right and uh, many other use cases okay so if you look at all these use cases uh, this is about oil and gas so predictive maintenance is across the industries right and uh, almost every industry has a use case for uh, predictive maintenance every equipment require has a use case so it goes back to even your data centers where you have lot of these computers and um, you know your uh, networking and other equipment and over here also can you actually predict downtime okay so predictive maintenance has widespread applications across industries across domains i hope you have now understood what is uh, predictive maintenance if you like this video on predictive maintenance please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning